Good morning. Here are the headlines for today. Dominican new rules for CBI applicants takes effect Monday. Jamaica government to set up AI task force. No expected disruption from digital takeover in Barbados. Authorities in Dominica will begin mandatory interviews of all applicants aged 16 and above to the Citizenship by Investment CBI program as the country seeks to cooperate with international stakeholders and increase due diligence processes with the aim of reducing threats posed by illicit actors. Dominican officials were present at the U.S. Caribbean Round Table earlier this year to discuss challenges faced by Caribbean CBI programs and it was agreed that all Caribbean CBI nations would start conducting virtual or in-person interviews with applicants. Dominica, like many other CBI countries in the region, uses due diligence and risk agencies from the United States and the United Kingdom, supported by local and international policing authorities, to help protect both investors and local citizens from unsavory players. To read more on this article, go to Dominican News Online. Dot com. The Jamaican government is in the process of establishing an artificial intelligence AI task force to conduct research and provide an evidence-based foundation for the development of a national AI policy. Senator Dr. Dana Morris Dixon, minister with Dot Portfolio in the office of the Prime Minister, disclosed during her contribution on the State of the Nation debate in the Senate on Friday, July 14th. The task force research will comprehend analyze the current state of AI in Jamaica, including research and development activities, adoption levels and challenges faced by various sectors of the economy, Senator Morris Dixon said. The task force is also expected to identify opportunities for the adoption of AI technologies, potential areas of economic growth and potential social impacts. To read more on this article by Latonia Linton, go to to CaribbeanNewsGlobal.com. Barbadian employees and customers of regional telecommunications giant Digicel have been assured there will be no disruption to its business following a U.S. $1.7 billion restructuring deal resulting in a company takeover. The assurance came from Digicel's Group Communications Executive Gabriel Miller on the heels of the news that three American bondholder companies, Contrain Capital Management, Golden Tree Asset Management, and PGIM Fixed Income, are taking over over majority ownership of the company to reduce its debt. According to a statement provided to Barbados Today by Miller, Digicel's founder Dennis O'Brien, who will relinquish his majority stake in the company, has endorsed the RSA as a positive outcome for the business and will continue to be involved in Digicel as an equity holder and a director in the company's reconstituted board. To read more on this article, go to our dot today. This was your Caribbean Best Headline News to start your day. Bonjour.